Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, today we're going to start with a new topic Which is time series analysis Right uh, Many business data are measured with respect time So, data occurring with respect time Known as time series data Right So, time series data When the data is uh, Is collected with respect to time so it is called as time series data so for example sales profit revenue of a company a record for some years month quarter is the example of a time series data so the time series data in time series data time is taken as independent variable so time is independent variable uh, others variable which is uh, profit sales and revenue right, is called as a dependent variable so in time series we're going to have two variable uh, independent variable and dependent variable right independent variable is time in the, uh, dependent variable, let's say for example, profit, uh, sales, uh, revenue and so on. So, when we plot a graph in uh, for time series data, so X as is will represent time. Lah. So, time maybe could be in year, let's say this is year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, it can be in month, days and second uh, even minute on hour right so this is going to be why is this going to be your dependent variable which is profit uh, or sales and so on right so the plot will show up and down uh, of dependent variable over time so uh, the, the graph will represent like this right so they are kind of uh, up and down up and down so, so this is a time series data right so in time series data, there are four components that make up time series data. The first component is trend. The second component is seasonal variation, cyclical variation, and irregular or random variation. So basically, we have four components in time series data. First is trend, seasonal, cyclical, and irregular. So you need to remember TSCI. So we have trend, sing, uh, seasonal, cyclical, or uh, irregular. So uh, let's look at the component of time series data. The the first component, which is trend data, the trend uh, notation of trend is T, is a long term movement in a time series data. So it describes the pattern of movement of time series data, either increase or decrease, right? So let's say this is a time series data. Um, this is about uh, profit, right? This is time in month. Uh, I say month, right? So let's say you got trend like this. So we can see the trend is increasing from left to right, right? So this is a trend. So if you got a uh, downward trend, so it is incre decreasing from left to right so this is a decreasing trend this is uh, increasing trend so example of trend is increasing number of hiv cases in malaysia from year to year so you need to remember trend is a long-term movement right so long-term movement it, can, it could be a year uh, it could be uh, more than uh, decades right Another example is increasing number of road accidents dead from year to year, declining uh, rate of baby death from year to year. So the trend, the keyword of trend, we have increasing, we have increasing and decre uh, decreasing, right? So if you can look at uh, the, the the graph here, sama saja macam I buat tadi. So this is the actual data and this is the trend, right? The trend line, right? So, whether increase or decrease. Another component of uh, time series data is a uh, seasonal variation. Seasonal variation is a short-term movement, right? Short-term movement in time series data. 
right so uh, the movement is repeat themselves in fixed period of one year right so for example for example uh, uh, sekarang kan covid kan so let's say covid tak ada right so uh, fest- festive season selalunya uh, dekat shopping mall dia akan orang akan ramai so sales akan meningkat so let's say chinese new year sales akan meningkat and then uh, repeat on diva bali also sales akan meningkat so is a seasonal variation so dia akan repeat itself in short term movement right if you can see the graph here so you can see from year 1 right so hujung tahun saja dia akan increase and then dia decrease hujung tahun lagi untuk year kedua dia akan increase third year increase fourth year also increase so the trend is uh, repeating itself in seasonal variation so it follow a seasonal event right for example uh, increasing sales of bus ticket during festive season increasing sales of school uniform during school holidays right and then the last one is increasing number of traffic on road from 7 to 9 a.m. because uh, people are going to work and from 4.30 p.m. and until 7 p.m. Because, because people is back from work, right? So, this is a short-term movement. So, you remember seasonal variation is a, is a variation or is a trend that, sh- that uh, occur in short-term movement, right? So another uh, component in time series data is uh, cyclical variation. Cyclical variation is the same uh, uh, method in uh, seasonal variation, right? So it will uh, follow the, the 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 it will follow the remaining uh, a trend. Means uh, last year uh, in in seasonal variation, let's say uh, during the uh, festive season bus ticket will, sales bus ticket will increase so the following year pun sama juga right but uh, in seasonal variation it occur in short term movement but in cyclical variation it occur in uh, long term movement right so that repeat over time period of differing length usually, usually longer than one year lah uh, for example, economic recession, uh, selalunya they, uh, they occur in 10 years, right? So, so they had a uh, recovery, depression, prosperity, and then uh, recession, right? So, selalunya they akan occur in uh, once in 10 years, right? So, decreasing employment rate due to economic downturn, uh, increasing rate of retrenchment uh, among uh, factory workers due, re, uh, due to economic recession. So, economic recession selalunya occur uh, once in 10 years kan. So, sometimes lah. Uh, dulu lah. Now, kita tak tahu lagi. Right? So, just need to remember cyclical variation is a long-term movement. Right? So, it will, the trend will repeat itself uh, in long-term movement. So, uh, the last uh, component in time series is uh, irregular or random variation. So, it is a movement that is unpredictable, that take place by chance or randomly. Unpredictable means sometimes you have a riot, sometimes you have a, a attack or a flood, right? You need to close your business for one day, right? So, your sales will... will we, we, you will get uh, lost in one day and then for the following day you book up balik business you you is much a normal right for example uh, uh, example a decreasing number of tourists flying to New York due to attack of World World, uh, World Trade Center in 11 uh, September so irregular uh, variation means uh, you have a uh, increasing trend or decreasing trend sun, sun, suddenly you have uh, something happen right so let's say you pay a kedai terbakar right so you need to start back your business so your start your business will recovery back balik lah right for example lagi a declining rate of share price of New York stock exchange due to attack on World Trade Center, 
right for example selalu kalau ma- ma- you 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 tahu main uh, uh, saham kan right you share uh, if you know share stock kan so selalunya macam um, sekarang ni tengah hangat let's say um, stock uh, minyak kan so kalau kita tengok sebelum bulan uh, Sebelum bulan 3 hari tu So dia punya trend dia mungkin menaik Atau menurun macam ataupun stationary And sampai bulan 3 tu dia akan down, Ada gap sikit right? So dia akan turun And then dia akan recover balik right? Itu itu one of the example of irregular lah right? Another example uh, Another component yang Yang tak termasuk means uh, Random shock right? Random shock macam saya cakap tadi um, You ada riot For one day, next day you buka balik kedai macam biasa lah. So, dia satu hari saja dia akan off. But for irregular, dia akan ambil masa sikit lah untuk recover. Right. So, this is uh, all the component in time series. Right. Remember, the component we have is time, a trend, seasonal, cyclical uh, and irregular. Right. So, uh, before we move on, do you have any question? Student, can you comment? Do you have any question? Right. Can you understand the four component in time series? Right. So, we have trend, seasonal, uh, cyclical and irregular. Can you understand this component? Can you comment? Yes. Yes. All right. Good. So, now we move to the next uh, topic which is estimating trend. Right. So in this uh, syllabus, uh, we are only focus on moving average method, right? So there are two met- there are several method that can employ to estimate trend you know, from a time series data, right? Um, we in this topic we only discuss a uh, moving average method only. Right? A least square method will will not be discussed in this uh, subject, right? Kita dah keluarkan this topic. So we only focus on moving average method. So uh, non-linear trend is obtained if using moving average method. So for example, we have a uh, time series data. This is y, and this is t respect to time. So we have a time series data. For example, right? If we want to estimate trend, right? So menggunakan uh, moving average method so kita akan dapat trend dia macam ni lah so we want to estimate this linear or non-linear trend this line so this is trend so this is actual data right so our objective here is we want to estimate the line here the line in the middle so whether the line will show us whether the trend is increasing or decreasing right so now let's look at this one estimating trend using moving average method right so a moving average method uh, consists of series of average right we have a series of average where each average is the mean value of the time series over fixed interval of time Right, so means that we're going to take an average of the data, right? So using the the method of trend obtaining will be non-linear trend. So this is going to be non-linear trend. So now look at example number fifty-eight. So we have annual profit in thousand of easy company are uh, given in the following table, right? So we have year two thousand one until two thousand seven. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have N equal to 7. And then, we have the profit, right? So, 280,000, 320,000, 410,000, right? So, in uh, moving average method, we will construct a 3 moving average method and 4 moving average method. So, we will limit ourselves to to four moving average method only right so either we're going to cal- calculate for three moving average method or four moving average method so four moving average method means we're going to take four data and we average the data if three moving average method we're going to take three data and average the data right so now this that 
table is given in white format. So white format means the dalam bentuk white lah. So you need to transform this data to a long format. So long format, let's say I insert table. Uh, I insert banyak sikit lah. Uh, let's say this is 3 moving average. Uh, I ada 8, right? So let's say, oops. Kenapa dia tu setu? You boleh nampak tak? Table ni. Right. Tak apa lah. I, I tunjuk. I, I transform dulu. So, we first we have um, year. And the second one is profit. Right. So, this is 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 5, 2006 and last is 2007 this is 280 320 375 and this one 350 uh, this 380 400 401 so I besarkan sikit so tadi nampak tak from a uh, wide format kita transform to long format so now we are doing 3 year moving average method right 3 year moving average method now see carefully first uh, next uh, we need to create another column which is 3 year moving total so we create another column 3 year moving total so once we uh, convert the data the table into long format we create another column which is 3 year moving total so now in 3 year moving total we will take 3, da three data let's say this is a 3 data 280 320 375 we're going to take 3 data these 3 data and kita akan letak dekat tengah-tengah right we will plus all these three data 280 plus 320 plus 375 so it will become 975 right second boleh faham right do you understand how we construct a three moving total we take three data three data and we put in the middle of the next column right we put in the middle of the next column so for the second data, uh, row right let's say i am going to the color line so tadi kita dah ambil this uh, 280 and we move to the next uh, column uh, row uh, this is what we call moving average we move to the next column 320 375 370 uh, 50 so we put in the middle so this going to be 1045 right and we move uh, and so on we move uh, moving again tadi kita dah ambil 280 320 and 375 plus 350 plus 380 so we put in the middle we take 3 value so this going to be 1105 again we, we, we try to take uh, as many as you can let's say uh, we use this one Tadi kita guna 3, 7, 5 and then we move to 3, 5, 0, 3, 8, 0, 3, uh, 4, 100. So, we put in the middle. So, this one going to be 1, 1, 3, 0. Right. Next, kita ambil this one. 380, 400, 410. 
so we put in the middle so this is going to be one one nine zero right so the last one kita turun empat ratus empat ratus sepuluh tak cukup kan there are no the third the, there are no third value so we stop here so habis dah habis setakat tu saja right so kita kena ambil tiga kalau tak cukup tiga kita stop right good so basically do you understand how to calculate three moving total so kita belum ambil uh, belum buat uh, average lagi kita belum buat average lagi kita baru ambil total right so do you understand can you comment a bit right good so now since kita dah uh, Oops. Kita dah calculate 3 moving total. Now kita nak ambil 3 uh, moving average. Let's see. I kecilkan sikit. Three moving average. So 3 moving average. So, this is the name of the method lah. 3 moving average. So, the 3 moving average also known as our trend. So, this is our trend lah. This is our trend. So, since the first uh, row tak ada apa. So, kita letak nothing lah. This is 975. Since we are taking total of 3 data. If you want to uh, make it an, as an average. 975 divide by 3 lah. So, because we already take the 3 data kan. So, 280, 320, 7, 375. So, 3 data. So, the formula of average, apa tadi kita ingat tak? The chapter number 2. Summation of X divide by N. So, this is 975 is the summation of X because we take all the 3 value. Divide by number of uh, observation 3 so this one should be 325 so 975 divided by 3 1045 divided by 3 so 348.67 1105 divided by 3 is 368.33 1130 divided by 3 376.67 one was nine zero divided by three three nine six point six seven. So bawah tak ada apa lah. This is zero. Right. So basically, we already calculate the trend value. So far, any question? Do you understand how to calculate uh, the moving average? This is only three year moving average. Right, good. So now, if you understand, then we can move to the next uh, method, which is four-year moving average. Right, four-year moving average. I guess I'm gonna put a little Four year moving average kita tambah lagi satu kolam. Um, tadi kita buat empat, sekarang kita buat lima kolam. Right, uh, and then kita ada lapan. Macam mana yang nak besarkan? So, I just copy back the punya value dalam ni. Right, the first uh, value we have um, year. And the second one is we have profit. This is year 2001, 2002, 
Right. This is 280, 320, 375, 350. This is 380, uh, 400, 410. Right. So we want to construct for year moving average. Right. So let's look at the first the first part. So for four year moving average, same as three year moving average, right? So first step we need to cons uh, to create another column which is four year uh, moving total, right? In example number uh, three year moving average ni, you know what? We take three data. And we put in the middle for three year moving total. So always put in the middle, right? So in this example, right, four year moving total. So we will take four data instead of three data. We're going to take four data, right? So they say this is the first data, uh, four data, and we will put in the middle. So the middle dekat mana? Middle dekat tengah tengah ni lah. So, media dekat tengah-tengah. So, we need to plus all the four value. So, 280 plus 320 plus 375 plus 350. So, this is going to be 1, 3, 2, 5. So, we're going to put in the middle. So, dia dekat atas, atas line. Right. Dia belum, dia belum dalam cell dia. Right. So, we move on to the next uh, uh, mo, uh, to, mo total. So, this one 320, 375, 350, 380. We take four data, we put in the middle. Right? So this one should be 1425. Right? And we move on. So this is what we call as moving. Moving average. So the next one 375, 350, 380, 300, uh, 400. We put in the middle. So this one should be one five zero five. All right, move on. Um, yep. So tadi dah habis ni. Move on. Three hundred fifty, three hundred eighty, four hundred, four hundred ten. So you start middle. So this one should be one five four zero. If you want to move on next, uh, ni three hundred eighty, four hundred, four hundred ten. Dah tak cukup, right? So, kita tak payah move on lagi. Dah cukup dah habis dah. So, this is 4 year moving total. Right? So, 4 year moving total dah dapat. So, now, tapi, but the problem is, uh, the data is not on the cell. Uh, data dah ada dalam cell tu. So, what we need to do is, we need to center the moving Total. So we need to take uh, another column which is four year centered uh, moving total. So means we will take these two value, we will add these two value together and put in a cell. So we put in the middle. So one three two five plus one four two five is two seven. 50 right and then we move on the next uh, column 1425 plus 15205 is uh, 2930 right and for the next one 1505 plus 1540 put in the middle going to be 3045 we need to add this two that's all. Atas kosong, bawah tak ada apa. So this is the centered moving total, right? So next, our objective is we want to find the moving average. So our moving average is uh, four 
year moving average so this is what we call as trend this is our objective we want to calculate this right so the first row is nothing second row also nothing the third row 2750 right if you want to average this data so remember the first part we already consider four data right in one three two five have four observation one four two five also have four observation right so we add these two data together one two seven five zero we have eight observation inside the data so if you want to take an average two seven five zero divided by eight so this one should be three four three point seven five right same goes to the next one two nine three zero we have eight observation here so divide by eight three six six point two five the last one three zero four five divided by eight so this one should be also equal to three eight zero point six two five bawah tak apa so this is the this is how we calculate four year moving average so so far do you do you understand please say something do you understand i want to make sure you understand because this is very important topic right so if you this is important topic and very easy to get marks right if you don't understand rugi lah why eight because you see the first the first day the first total ni one three two five ni we already consider four data so if you want to uh, take average here we will divide by four but since dia dalam dia bukan dalam cell dia atas line we want to put it into a, a single cell so kita tambah dua value dekat sini right we will get 2750 in 13525 we have four observation 1425 we have four observation so if we add this together we have eight observation so that's why we divide by eight right okay boleh faham boleh faham ah right good now this is very simple example now let's look at another example which is example number 60 so kecil sangatlah right we look at example number 60 <coughs> so the following data shows quarter sales Uh, of XYZ company for years 2005 to 2007 right so we need to draw the original data so now uh, the data is given us in uh, white format in from white format we need to transform it to the long format right um, let me use this one lah So this is uh, sales dekat sini right so the first one is year this is quarter this is sales right for year 2005 we have quarter number 1 quarter number 2 quarter number 3 and 4 sales is 8 5 7 6 right for quarter number and eh, for year 2006 we has quarter number 
2, 3 and 4 and the value is 10, 6, 8, 7 year 2007 quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4 so this is 12, 8, 10 and 9 ini terlebih lah so ini boleh delete oops right so this is how we transform from a uh, wide format to long format so this is this is a wide format and uh, this is a long format so the reason why we we transform the data to long format because we can easy to construct a moving average method and we can easy see the data right so now the the first question is we need to uh, draw the original data so let's say we need to draw original data let's say from here this is x as it y as is and this is x as is and y as is kita ada from this is from 1 2 3 4 5 let's say uh, you need to buy any uh, graph paper nanti eh jangan lupa you ada banyak masa lagi you boleh order graph paper daripada Shopee ke right make sure you ada graph paper for your uh, assignment nanti right uh, this is quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 so this is for year 2005 this is quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 this is for year 2006 this is quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 and quarter 4 this is for year 2007 so this is year and quarter right so this is how we we design our graph right for a time series data so this is going to be your sales in thousand right so you need to jot down the value lah in thousand right in million right sorry right sales in rm million right so the the title of the graph is time series data for sales in rm million from year 2005 to 2007 right so now we begin to plot the data so for year 2005 quarter number one the value is 8 million and quarter number two become 5 million this is going to be 7 and quarter number four is 6 million right and then uh, for quarter number one quarter 2010 is 10 million quarter number two is 6 million Quarter number 3 for year 2006 yeah we are looking at year 2006 quarter number 3 is 8 million so it should be here and then quarter number 4 is 7 million right kalau you ada graph paper you nampak clearly lah right um, quarter number 1 2007 is 12 right so ada lagi dah 11 12 so ke atas ni 12 so dia dekat atas and then uh, quarter number 2 is 8 quarter number 3 is 10 and quarter number 4 is 9 right so once you already plot the value of the data 
you need to connect all the point right so let's see i'm using different color So, from here, you have make pen, uh, pen, uh, pembaris lah, right? This from here to here. Right? And then, connect this one. Uh, you connect betul-betul lah dengan pembaris. Like, I, I tak ada pembaris kan? So, this is going to be your time series data right this is your original data so next we want to find trend value and we're going to plot the trend value in the uh, original original data so now the question asks us to find the trend using moving average method so we already learned how to find moving average for three year moving average and four year moving average so, by looking at the data, so how many moving average you want to conduct? So, we have three, three years and we have four quarter each years. So, can you guess how many years we want to conduct? Three moving average or four moving average? Can you say something in the chat room? Four moving average. Why four? Ada lagi? Lagi nak kata apa? 4 ke 3? Yang lain? Please comment on chat room. I'm waiting. Yup. 4. Right. We're going to construct four moving average because we have four quarter lah. Right? Another example, let's say kita tengok example yang I bagi dalam ni. Let's say. Uh, uh, this one. This one. This is example number 10 eh. So we have three years and each year we have uh, three term. First term, second term and third term. So this one, we're going to construct three moving average because we have three terms, right? For this one, we have four quarter, four moving average. And this one, we have seven, so seven moving average. But this one is, tak perlu buat macam tu. But we only focus on three and four, right? So now, next, uh, next step is we need to construct four, uh, four quarter moving total right four quarter moving total so four quarter moving total kita akan ambil uh, the four value here and we're going to put in the middle so this one should be 8 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 it should be 20 6 and we're going to move right from here 5 7 6 and 10 we're going to put in the middle uh, this one should be uh, 28 right and then we're going to move on x 7 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6 this one should be uh, 29 right and then we move the next one 6 plus 10 plus 6 plus 8. Right? We put in the middle. This one should be 30. Right? And we move on. Uh, 10 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7. We put in the middle. So this one should be 31. Right? And then uh, 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 12. This one should be 33 and then uh, 7, 8 plus 7 plus 12 plus 8 so this one should be 35 right 
and then uh, move to the next one 7 plus 12 plus 8 plus 10 this one should be 37 and 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 9 right so this one should be 39 so 8 plus 10 plus 9 Tak cukup uh, empat kan? So, kita stop there lah. Right? So, now we already calculate for moving total. So, since uh, the, the value on the line, bukan dalam cell, we need to create for centered moving total. Right? For centered moving total, the first one is no value. Second one also no value. Right? Kita tambah 26 plus 28 so this one should be uh, berapa 26 plus 28 is 450 54 right and we move to next one 28 plus 29 it should be 57 29 plus 30 so this one should be 59 and move for uh, move move forward lah uh, that's why we, we say that this is a uh, moving average. We need to move forward. Right? So, 64. And this one. 68. And 64. Right? And then the next one is uh, seven, uh, 72. And the last one is 76. Right? Uh, pen ni berkala-kala. Right? Kita tukar pen lain. So, once kita dah calculate the centered moving total, so it dah ada dalam cell. So, now we are calculating for moving average, which is our trend. So, for moving average, since the first data here, we have four observation. This is also have four observation. Each of the, the data have four observation. And we add these two data, we have 58, right? 58 consists of 8 observation, 4 plus 4, right? 8 observation. So, 58 divided by 4 should be equal to 6.75, right? So, kalau you tengok the, your, your trend value ni, mesti within 7 and 6 or 5. They be the, mesti dalam ringkungan itu. Kalau dia lain, means um, you salah kira lah. 57 divided by 8 is 7.5. 1, 2, 5. And this one should be 7.375. And this one should be 7.625. And this one should be uh, 64 divided by 8 is equal to 8. 68 divided by 8, 8.50. And this one should be 9. 9.50 so last nothing so this is how we calculate four year moving average this is very simple but very tricky right so if you tak berhati is to is if you're not very careful then uh, you cannot do you cannot get a wrong you might uh, con, uh, commit with the wrong answer lah right so now once we already calculate the trend value which is four year moving average so now we want to draw the trend obtained in two in the graph number one so quarter number one there are no value quarter number two for year 2005 no value quarter number three is 6.75 let's say ada letak kat sini 6.75 uh, quarter number uh, four 7.1 Four, let's see, guys. Uh, you are the uh, next time you, you draw in a graph paper, so you will get the accurate value. And quarter number one for year 2006 is 1.7.3, so somewhere here, lah, right? And quarter number three, 7.6, also somewhere here, right? So, I, I punya line mungkin tak accurate lah. So, you need to draw a very accurate line. So, this is going to be 8. And 8.5 somewhere here. And 
9 should be should be here 9 right quarter number 1 quarter number 1 should be 9 here right and uh, 9.5 is quarter number 2 so once you got the, uh, the, uh, the trend value you just draw the line so it, it should not be sometimes it, it will be uh, linear sometimes it, uh, the normal normally it will not be a linear trend lah. so this is your trend for year uh, four quarter moving average this is the sales uh, in million so this is the actual data right so this is how we uh, construct a four year moving average right so this is very familiar uh, famous uh, method worldwide right for a moving average so sometimes uh, I, if you are looking into share price and uh, share product right saham right so moving average uh, will play an important role in when you are planning to to invest in a long term right so so in uh, kalau kita belajar hanya empat saja kan so kita boleh adjust lah for 52 weeks or, or for 200 days right so so you have no one method in, in that very useful right so i think uh i'm going to stop here before we we, we continue i just want to ask you with, uh, if you have any question or you want to ask me something can you you can put it into a uh, chat room or you can voice up ada soalan so i hope you understand uh, the concept of uh, time series uh, analysis and moving average method right right so so far we have learned the four component of time series which is trend seasonal variation cyclical variation and irregular variation right so now what is the point of learn this one this method because the point is we want to forecast what will be on the next event what is the value of the next event? So, we want to focus. Let's say 2007 quarter number 4. So, kita tak ada value for 2008 quarter number 1 or quarter number 2. So, we want to know what will happen. What, what is our prediction for sales for our sales in year 2008 to quarter number 1 and quarter number 2. Based on the data given, so we can do a prediction. Here, I will teach you how to do a prediction on the next uh, topic, right? Before we go to the next topic, we need to estimate the seasonal variation, right? So, I think uh, for estimating a seasonal variation and forecast, eh, we want to predict the value, we will do on the next class. Lah, eh? So, for this class, I already teach you. Uh, the four component of time series which is trend seasonal cyclical and irregular i already teach you how to construct a three year moving average four year moving average and four quarter moving average and i also show you uh, which moving average to choose if you have that uh, kind of data right so now i will provide this note in uh, google classroom right so in this note i have tutorial number one three uh, five seven and ten so, tak banyak tu, uh, soalan. so i want you to do as homework make sure you do by today right kita ada satu jam lagi buat hari ini right so simpan untuk esok uh, we will discuss uh, all your data uh, all your work tomorrow right so 
uh, the, kalau ada da, uh, soalan yang berkenaan dengan determine the seasonal index for each quarter ni you boleh skip because kita tak belajar lagi the first uh, three question which is plot the data on the graph find the trend value find, uh, plot the trend obtained in the same graph uh, itu semua you dah belajar kan uh, that one you boleh buat right Right, so we will meet uh, on tomorrow class, right? So we will continue on estimating seasonal variation. So far, before we end our session, do you have any question? Ada soalan? Right. Okay, good. So... I think we meet you on the next class, right? And don't forget to sign in your attendance, right? So, I think that's all. Thank you very much and Assalamualaikum.